you know, I regularly see comments on uh, BOTB videos where people say about how much money they must be making and they must be making millions of pounds. They are making millions of pounds, but that's the entire point of a business, isn't it? To make lots of money. But the figures are actually on their website. If you want to look at them, I mean, there's no secret trick. You don't have to go delving into the uh, the underworld on the internet. Everything's on the internet, uh, their own website. So let's have a look. How to play an FAQs, frequently asked questions. So if we click on there, go to investors, financial reports, and we can see that the last financial report there, preliminary results, was the 16th, six days ago. Well, depending on what day you're watching it, I suppose, but it was the 16th of June. So I've already opened that up. So let's have a look, because I've zoomed in a bit so we can see what's going on. So this is a report from uh, William Hind March, the uh, chief executive, the owner. So basically in the last year, BOTB have had a revenue of 34.68 million. Significantly, significantly greater than the 17.79 million delivered in the pre-pandemic year of financial year 2020. Well, that would have been from 2019 to 2020, the financial year, which would have ended in about mm, March, I think it is, beginning of April 2020, because that's when life was carrying on as normal like it is now before the lockdowns. However, in financial year 2021, which would have been from 20 to 21, they delivered 45.68 million because the business benefited from what transpired to be particularly favorable trading conditions during the pandemic. Yeah, what that means is so many people were under lockdown and locked in a house, they had nothing to do. So they're escaping from the screaming kids by mucking about on a laptop and spending money on BOTB. But I mean, that's a huge amount of money, 45 million as compared to you know 17 million profit before tax 5 million is up by 22 percent on 2020 but it's lower than when everybody was locked down and the profit then was 14 million uh it goes on to say a very strong financial position cash generation maintained cash balances of 10.82 million as of the 30th of april this year which is an increase from the 8.34 million for six months previously. The group is debt free and has net assets of 8.09 million, substantially underpinned by property and cash. I've no idea what property they own. Earnings per share were 45 pound and 30 pence. And I tell you, I wasn't sure what that means. Tender offer announced a return up to around 6.275 million to shareholders. I don't really know what a tender offer means. I suppose I could Google it, but I think uh, that means somebody's trying to buy the shares. So let's see. Uh, let's see what the shares are worth. If we go back to this and have a look at uh, the share price. Uh, I click on the following London Stock Exchange. So have a look at the history of the share prices. BOTB, best of the best. That'll do. So look at this, how much the shares dropped. In fact, let's look at the last five years. So if we look at this chart over the last five years, share prices were more or less steady, up and down, up and down, and up and down. And if you're wondering, no, I haven't got a clue about share prices. I don't invest in this sort of stuff. I'm just looking at a chart. Uh, and then from July 2020, I'm sure that's when we started having lockdowns, share prices were shooting up. And th these are in pennies. So at one point, it went up from the £4 a share to about £18 a share. Uh, then I think we come out of lockdown for a bit, but we still couldn't use supermarkets, uh, sorry, still couldn't go to normal shops and stuff. But this point here, look at this, 24th of April 2021, I think we were all under a lockdown then across the uh, entire country. And so clearly everybody was at home playing BOTB. But look at that, £33.50 a share. That's a huge jump. And I tell you what, that's one thing to remember in future, if we should have another lockdown or pandemic or something like that. What better thing to invest in than uh, 
online gambling or gaming, whatever. Because, I mean, there's all the evidence you need there. Shares are roughly the same for years. And then as soon as people are locked in a house and can't do anything else, they're all spending their money online. So the shares in BOTV shot up. And then once the pandemic, the uh, the lockdowns, everything went over, well, the share prices plummeted. And now it's sort of basically back down to uh, where it was. Actually, it looks a little bit higher than where it was. But still, you know, it's still sort of... Uh, four pound on a share nearly nearly five pound a share so uh that, that's it guys that's uh, you know if you want to if you want to look at any of this stuff just look it up yourself people call this company a scam and everything it's nonsense they don't hide anything everything is here on the website so uh, you know dive in guys have a look yourself have a rummage about look at the advisors look at the board um all the board members are listed there anyway have a look yourself guys i just thought it might be you might be interested in it cheers everyone